Marusta Van Ruby. It's even more exquisite than I imagined. This will be the perfect centerpiece for my gift to the Grand Morph. Sure to learn you a nice, fat promotion. Maybe the Grand Morph will finally let you go home to Droman Kass. Watch your tone, Skalak. My agent is standing by at the spaceport ready to deliver the item. You have someone ready to receive it? There's a twitchy little starship merchant named Fabazan in my docking bay. He'll accept my payment. Lieutenant, transmit the signal. I don't know what you want with that grotesque trophy, Skavak, but it's all yours now. Need any other priceless relics, Commander? Just let me know. Hi there. Sorry I'm late to the party, boys. Traffic was crazy. Skavak, is this some sort of trick? Captain, seriously, I admire your persistence, but this is ridiculous. How do you know this man, Skavak? He's an acquaintance who just can't take a joke. You're gonna be a floor stain when we're done with you, Skavik. Corso, I heard about your job. Hey, don't let unemployment make you bitter, all right? You're the one who followed up my identity record and sent half the galaxy chasing me? That wasn't very nice, Captain. Ain't they were stealing from me? Where's my ship? I understand you're upset. It's a very nice ship, but you're taking things way too far. I can't believe you kept that Sullust and Lawman alive. If it wasn't for the Justicars, the little run might have actually caught me. Enough of this. The captain is your problem, Skavak. Deal with it. Commander, would you mind vaporizing the captain for me? I've got places to be. Skavak! Blast that scoundrel, always leaving me to clean up his messes. You could just let me go. No, and I'm afraid you won't be leaving here. We'll give you a very nice unmarked grave. Who do you think you are giving me orders? You're as good as dead, you alien filth. Boy, am I happy to see you. Spare me your false heroics. Men, kill this alien scum! <laughs> No, he did not. There. Better? Hang on, Mil. We'll get you to a Colto tank. Poor little guy. He didn't deserve to go out like this. We see wala okay then. Slice into docking bay 87. Oh, great. Gotta go back. Jeez, Kakava Coyota. Do banda, Bakawanki. Three words, pal. Where's my ship? Look at the Yompi, but one any bobo, chopper duma. The pisca cuca pa mi wata, potenia noche de bota. Tu batulia musta, mo gran ritempo tu muki donka. That I'll teach you. Adam. 
salesman. That just means you're an even bigger thief than Skavik. Not yet. But you owe the captain something for all his trouble. What room at the board that done we want to work over Jakamoka? I could give you a nice ship upgrade and charge it to Skyrim's account. Very interested. What are my options? You at least get your number what you'd cost by. Any continue. You can't about the chawa. Where more? We're killing my wahuata. We've been here to creepy taboka donka. Wanna walk out? Get out of here. I think we're done here. On the bunker, we're only coopa. Don't eat talk, maki togi. Chokchin wampa la hagua jikuska. Home passa topiska. Taking a wild guess that my life just got a new kind of complicated. Well, hello, gorgeous. Funny, I don't remember leaving a beautiful woman in my cargo hold. Must be my lucky day. Depends on your definition of lucky. My name's Risha. I've been traveling with Skavik as part of a business arrangement. He and I had a deal to deliver the things you see here. Don't you pick the bad partner? Skavik isn't known for honoring his deals. Then maybe my luck is about to change. Skavik was going to deliver this cargo, but he's proving unreliable. I think you might be a much better partner. I'm open to nego negotiations. Let's hear your offer and we'll see. My offer is simple. I make you filthy rich. It's a pretty straightforward business model. What do you know? That's Skavik on the ship's hollow. This should be an interesting conversation. You're late, Skavik. And I just made a new friend. I think you two will loathe each other. Congratulations, Captain. You're officially number one on my list of people to kill. When I get my hands on you, you'll wish you'd never left, Lord Mantell. You have fun with that. I don't even know what you've stumbled into, Captain. You're messing up a deal I spent months putting together. Don't know how you got away from those Imperials, but next time, I'll kill you myself. Assuming Rogan the Butcher doesn't get you first. I sold all those blasters you were supposed to deliver for him on Lord Mantell. I, I can't imagine he'll be happy that you lost them. I'll make sure Rogan hears who really fouled things up for him. I'm sure you'll have lots to say while Rogan tortures you to death. Are you done posturing, Skavik? The captain and I have cargo to deliver. Don't even think about cutting me out of this deal, Risha. Finders keepers. Isn't that what you always say? Not my fault the captain here beat you to the big prize. Sweetheart. You two just made the biggest mistake of your lives. Thought that blowhard would never switch off. So, we were discussing how I can make you fabulously wealthy. The items here are pieces to a key. A key that unlocks the lost treasure of a very rich dead man named Nock Drayan. Never heard of him. Who's Nock Drayan? Please tell me you're joking. The man was a criminal legend. 
Nocturne was the greatest gangster who ever lived. He personally wiped out the Wrath Cartel and the Vandal Helm Combine during the Syndicate Wars. When he died ten years ago, Nock had more wealth than some Outer Rim worlds. Even the Huts were jealous. Where did all this wealth go? What happened to Nock's fortune after he died? Now we're getting to the interesting part. Nock hid his fortune right before he died. For ten years, treasure hunters across the galaxy have searched for it, in vain. Until now. You see, I've finally figured out how to get the lost riches of Noctrayan. Welcome to my ship. You're my new best friend, Risha. That's sweet. But let's try to keep this professional for now. Whoever gets Nox riches will become an underworld legend. Skavik had his chance and blew it. Now it's your turn. Help me deliver these things in your cargo hold, and Noctrayan's wealth will be all yours. I'm gonna look at my boss. Let's make one thing clear. I only work for one person. Me. That's fine. But if you want to be rich, you'll let me work for you. I'm the only one that can help you trade these items to get Noctrayan's treasure. But I won't tell you everything up front. To get the riches, you trust me the same way I trust you. One step at a time. Deal? For now, we'll see if this treasure hunt of yours is worth it. Once you get a taste of this job, I think you'll be hooked. We have deals set up on Taris and Narshada. I'll make all the arrangements and introductions for you on both planets. Until then, I'll be in my bunk. That caged beast there isn't much good for conversation, so come visit me if you feel like chatting. I'll be around for anything you need, sweetheart. Anything. That's a comfort. Looking forward to working with you, Captain. Yay! Level 15! Yep. So, how'd you end up out here, Captain? Was there ever a time you wanted something more... normal? A family? A steady job somewhere you didn't need a blaster in hand? Are you happy here, or would you rather be back raising Rontos? I've just been thinking about a guy I met in the Brigade. Mercenary. He'd been fighting for the Republic for 20 years. I was 16, fresh off the ship. This guy gave me my first blaster. Your first blaster? I thought you country boys grow up shooting. I mean, sure, I'd handled a hunting rifle, but never anything aimed at people. This guy told me, gun's just a tool. You use it to destroy, or you use it to protect against those who would destroy you. And you took it to heart. Made me think different about guns. You can't protect the people you love if you're afraid to get your hands dirty. I brought Torchy home, and my parents made me lock her up, told me not to wish away peace. I didn't have her when the Separatists came. Boy, Captain. Life with you is almost enough to get me missing the good old days. Ah, for Ord Mantel. Where Separatists were bad and guns were good and we could just run in shooting. Has something changed? I'm not noticing a drop off in our rate of running in and shooting. Yeah, we just have to do so much thinking first. Why don't we have more fun on this ship? Back home, when we needed a laugh, we used to run the Rontos in circles, then see if they could charge us without falling over. Good night, Corso. Maybe I should go lie down. <laughs>